Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be profiling Akari Therapeutics. This is a late stage biotech company with a really interesting lead candidate that we're going to explore in today's presentation. Before we get into that though, please take a second, hit the like button you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of Akari, what your thoughts are on the biotech space overall, and your thoughts on today's discussion. Now with that being said, let's get in to today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Akari Therapeutics, trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol AKTX. Now this is as of November 2nd. You can see shares trading at $3.59 US and I've got a six month chart pulled up on the screen and you can see despite some of the concerns and market volatility we're seeing on a macro scale, Akari Therapeutics has held up relatively well over the past two quarters. Trading at $3.60 back in May, we saw a nice spike at the start of August all the way up to $5.34 and then returning to that support around $3.59 or $3.60 that we saw over the last few months. Now, Akari Therapeutics is a super exciting company. They're a clinical stage biopharmaceutical organization. Their lead candidate, Nomakapan, is showing some really encouraging results and we're going to talk about that in more detail throughout today's presentation. So because this is the first time we're covering Akari Therapeutics on the channel, I'm gonna jump over to the company website. I'll leave this linked in the video description below as well and give you guys a quick overview of what this organization's all about. And then we're gonna jump into the investor presentation and take a deeper dive under the hood of Akari. So as you can see here, Akari Therapeutics is a late stage biotechnology company Focused on developing advanced therapies for autoimmune and inflammatory diseases, Akari's lead asset, which I just mentioned, investigational nemacapan, is a bispecific recombinant inhibitor of complement C5 and leukotriene B4, also known as LTB4 activity. So as you can see, essentially acting as a two-in-one here with that novel C5 plus the LTB4 inhibitor, nemacapan is a unique asset inhibiting two codependent and pro-inflammatory targets, as we just described above. Now the second point in relation to the broad potential of this platform is super unique. The CEO was actually on an Emerging Growth Conference YouTube broadcast about four weeks ago talking about this company and specifically called out the fact that in a lot of biopharmaceutical or biotech operations, the focus of these platforms and drugs is super specific. But with Akari, you're really getting a broad potential and it's almost on the other side of the coin that they've got to really narrow their focus and determine which disease or condition really applies itself best to this powerful two-in-one inhibitor. And we're gonna look at some of the use cases as we move into the investor presentation. So as you can see here, potential use in several different diseases and the fact that it's got multiple different ways of administration or actually giving this drug to patients. And we'll then talk about some of the robust clinical data and the various different trials that are going on in relation to some of these use cases. So to kick things off in the investor presentation, I wanted to go through the Akari overview slide, which does a really good job of summarizing this organization. So first and foremost, you can see that two-in-one inhibitor that we just talked about, the broad potential and the robust clinical data sets that we're gonna look at. Fourth point here is the fact that their HSCT-TMA is in phase three clinical trials being used in pediatric hematopedic stem cell transplant related thrombotic microangiopathy, also known as HSCT-TMA, which currently has no approved therapies and has an 80% mortality rate, which we're unfortunately gonna look at in a little bit more detail in the next few slides. And then the fifth and final point here, which we're gonna to touch on at the end of the presentation is their GA preclinical program, which is focused on PAS nomacapan in geographic atrophy known as GA, targeting dose intervals of three months or longer without any increased risk of what's known as CNV. So what I really like about Akari is it's a diversified play in the biotech or biopharmaceutical space and their advanced stage, which means they're in clinical trials with programs that have the potential to make a meaningful impact on thousands of individuals' lives who currently have no or very few viable therapy options. 
Now, because Nomakapan is their lead candidate, I wanted to spend the majority of today's presentation on this program. I'm gonna try and have the CEO of Akari on in about a month's time to provide a follow-up. And at that point, we can talk about some of the other programs and platforms in a little bit more detail. Now, what's interesting about Nomakapan is novel bispecific Nomakapan is a recombinant protein that was actually derived from the saliva of ticks in nature. And ticks actually secrete this protein to help with inflammation, pain, itch, and blood flow, which are the same responses that are out of control or hard to regulate in certain human autoimmune and inflammatory conditions. Now on the right here, you can see images of the nomakapan structure. And as we talked about, it inhibits complement C5 activation, similar to an on-market complement inhibitor, ablating the effects of terminal complement activation. Now the LTB4 sequesters are focused on disrupting activation and recruitment of immune modulating cells responsible for damaging inflammation, which as we mentioned on the left is one of the main outcomes when ticks secrete this protein in nature as well. So as a result, nemacapan inhibits two pathways that can cause damaging inflammation while at the same time preserving those important immune functions without impairing any of the anti-inflammatory action of the leukotriene pathway itself. And they then go on to give some additional detail and data about the relationship between C5 and LTB4 through various different studies and models. And this is a quick look at the Akari pipeline, which shows the pediatric use case for HSCT-TMA and the Nomakapan candidate in phase three clinical trials, along with the adult version of HSCT-TMA, both under the rare disease category, and then the geographic atrophy or GA that we mentioned in the intro, which is currently in the preclinical phase. So in terms of catalysts on the horizon for Akari, multiple near-term potential and promising outcomes along with that preclinical program. Now, I always like to relate these biopharmaceutical companies back to the initial patient because at the end of the day, you guys, these are great investment opportunities, but they really do have the potential to impact thousands of individuals in a meaningful way across the world. So as we alluded to in the intro, Nemacapan may be the first treatment for HSCT-TMA which has that mortality rate, unfortunately, up to 80% due to its complications of complement activation, inflammation, tissue hypoxia, and blood clots, which lead to progressive organ damage and eventually death. And again, as mentioned in the intro, there's no approved treatment options for this condition at this point in time. So some of the benefits of nemacapan in this rare condition. Again, the complement C5 inhibition efficacy, the simple fixed dosing, which is obviously super important, especially for children, rapid onset and offset, which allows for complement reactivation as needed, and the fact that LTB4 inhibition may actually slow GVHD progression altogether. So obviously a super exciting and promising opportunity ahead for Akari and people suffering from this condition. And they then go on to talk about some of the phase three clinical trial design and share some really hard hitting stats about the frequency and volume of HSCT-TMA worldwide. And as you can see, tens of thousands of people across the world that are unfortunately suffering from this condition, along with thousands of children currently with no treatment options. Now, the other thing that's super interesting here on the pediatric front, they're expecting enrollment to begin by the end of 2023 for this phase three study. They've already been granted FDA orphan drug fast track and rare pediatric disease designations, which will help speed up the process or move this along through the pipeline and been given a positive opinion by the European Medicines Agency or the EMA on orphan drug designation. And on the adult front, you can see that they're gonna begin enrollment in this double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial as early as 2024. Now, if that wasn't enough to get excited about in terms of Akari Therapeutics, I also wanted to spend a few minutes on GA or geographic atrophy which is their preclinical program. Now you can see approximately 5 million people worldwide are affected with a million individuals in the United States alone. So a huge addressable market for geographic atrophy. And if you're unfamiliar, this condition manifests itself as a chronic progressive degeneration of the macula, which occurs during late stage dry age-related macular degeneration and can lead to irreversible vision loss. 
And as you can see in the third bullet point, the first and only treatment currently on the market for GA was only approved in 2023, so this year. So essentially an untapped market with very little competition or approved treatment options. So another really exciting opportunity for Akari Therapeutics. And again, something we'll touch on in a few weeks time when we welcome the CEO for a follow-up interview. Now, speaking of the CEO, I wanted to conclude today's video with a look at the leadership team at Akari. As you can see here, you guys, a diverse group with a plethora of experience in the biotech, healthcare, and medical fields. And as we've talked about in prior videos, these existing or established relationships and connections are crucial in this industry and really help legitimize a lot of the work and opportunities that Akari is focused on. And to conclude, and as we've talked about at length, we are seeing a ton of investor attention in the biotech space with complement technologies specifically garnering significant investment. So between the years of 2017 and 2022, we saw eight acquisitions in the complement technologies space. 14 collaborations in that same time with a variety of companies, valuations, products, and indications being targeted with many of these products already on shelves and in the market as we speak. So for those reasons, you guys, Akari Therapeutics is definitely one I would consider taking a look at if you're looking for exposure to the biotech sector because their clinical stage or late stage, a lot of the guesswork and risk is taken out of this investment opportunity with their programs and platforms really targeting conditions or diseases that have no viable alternatives on the market. Now, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, specifically if you're already holding shares of Akari. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. We'd love to have you as part of the community. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.